stuck in your wholesaling business, try this. What's up YouTube, Biz Matthew here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what you should do if you feel stuck in your wholesaling business. Let's say you're a beginner and it's been months and you still haven't gotten your very first wholesale deal. Or maybe you've gotten one or two or three or four or five deals and now you're in a period of time when you haven't gotten a wholesale deal. I know that has happened to me and I wanna share my story on how I was able to overcome that obstacle, being stuck in my wholesale business or being stuck in a season of complacency. Like how do you get that next deal or how do I just move on with more excitement or maybe you are getting deals but you still feel like you're stuck getting one deal a month or something like that. Now I'm still learning this business too and so day by day I'm learning what to do, what not to do. Now I'm not at the level like all these other gurus that are making millions of dollars a month in this business, but I can share with you all what I've learned in order to get out of that rut of being complacent or not seeing any action in my business. Before we go on, you all be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. A lot of you all watch my videos but are not subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Now, what is the number one thing I would say to people who are stuck in their business, especially wholesaling real estate? I would say is to pivot. Pivot, especially in your marketing technique. Marketing is so key in your business. It's the bloodline of all your leads, right? It gives you people to follow up with, people to close deals with, right? So marketing is key. I know for me, I know I told this story a ton of times before, but in the beginning, direct mail was working well for me. I think for a good two years, like I was getting deals just from sending out postcards. Even in like 2019, 2020, postcards in my area was still working quite well. But after a while, I noticed I was spending a ton of money, but I wasn't getting any deals, right? It was one month, two months, three months. I was being consistent with my marketing, but my marketing wasn't giving me back any return on that investment. What I did was I pivot out of direct mail and I pivot into cold calling. And not only did I cold call my Myself because I did do some cold calling while I was sending out postcards on my own. What I did was I hired a cold caller. So I took that load off of me. I knew how to cold call and I talked with people and I interviewed the right person that I saw was a good fit for cold calling real estate leads. And so we made it happen. We know I got an interview with this particular person and now they've been calling with me for the past two, three months and has been doing a phenomenal job. Now leads are not like just bursting out out on the scenes for me or anything like that, but I'm getting more of a reaction, more of a feedback than what I used to do. And plus it's saving me a ton of money by cold calling instead of sending direct mail. So for example, let's say I will spend around $500 a week. Now $500 a week, that's the very low end. Or sometimes I will spend a thousand dollars a week, but $500 a week, that's two grand a month, right? Over two grand a month, most likely. But with cold calling, I may be spending, you know, if I have to pull a list that month, the max I will spend that month is probably around $800, right? So it's well below half of what I was paying, right? And $800 is completely conservative. It's like pushing it. Like usually I'm probably spending $600 or less now a month in this business. But that's the number one thing I would do is pivot in my marketing. If you're stuck in a rut in your wholesaling business, pivot, 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 especially in marketing. The next thing I would say if you're stuck in your wholesaling business, let's say you have done some deals, right? And this is in regards to my story too. I've done deals. I knew how to market, how to talk to a seller, how to put property under contract, how to find a cash buyer. I knew all of that. And even though that part was slowing down for me, I still had the skills for me. But I think when you're not getting deals or you're still looking for that first deal or that second deal, or third deal, it can mess with your mental, right? And so I think one thing that really helped me uh, get out of that rut was to look at the prospective leads as not just wholesaling it, but maybe keeping it as a rental, maybe keeping it as a flip. And that just changed the gear of my mind. It brought new excitement to my life. I'm all like, okay, this is a new challenge. I can do something else instead of wholesaling this property. This can be a lead, right? As opposed, it probably wasn't a lead or it just got me back to, oh, I gotta wholesale again. So that's the second tip is to try something else within 
real estate with the lease that you are currently getting. For me, that was either holding it as a rental, like burying the property, or just putting a down payment, trying to find a property on market that I could put a down payment on and just keep it as a rental. And so that's what I did, right? I shifted. Now I'm working on my first bird. I should be closing on it at the end of this month. I'll keep you all updated. And then I have another property that I just found on the MLS and with the savings that I have from wholesaling and doing YouTube and other things like that, I'm able to put a 25% down payment on a duplex rental that already has tenants in them. So that's what I would say for number two is just try something else to get out of that rut. All right, so the third and final thing I would say is like, let's say you are stuck in rut. The next thing you should do is try to challenge yourself. I think you challenge yourself by the first two, right? Like by trying a new marketing technique, by not looking at a deal as a wholesale deal, or maybe trying rental properties or burning a property or flipping a property. You need to challenge yourself in order to put yourself like against the ropes where you can come out swinging, right? Put yourself in that state where you are challenged. And another thing that you can do in regards to challenging yourself is to work for another wholesaler. So that would do two things. So number one, it will get you just in the business, understanding more of the process of everything, how everything works and know the big time cash buyers that they are working with and their techniques on finding the best sellers. Another thing that would do is hopefully that can get you sick of working for people and like working a nine to five job that you want to get out of it and you just want to be on your own and try something for yourself. And so I think working for people can do that, it can give you that experience, can give you that connection, but at the same time, it can get you into that feeling that, hey, you don't want to Term, and so you need to find a way out. All right, you all, let me know down below in the comments if you're stuck in your business currently. What are you doing to change? What are you doing to adjust in your wholesaling real estate business? Let me know down below and let me know which of these points do you relate to more? Which one are you going to implement right now in your real estate wholesale business? All right, you all, I'll keep you all updated on how I'm pivoting in my marketing technique, you know, how I'm trying something else in real estate and how I'm challenging myself in order to get out of any sort of ruts that I may have along my real estate entrepreneurship journey. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll talk to you all later.